Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, today I'm going to be reviewing some products that I picked up from Target called Hey Humans. I picked up two body washes, a body lotion, a deodorant, and some toothpaste. So if you want to hear about my experience using all of these products, then just keep on watching. So just a little backstory on Hey Humans itself. It's co-founded by Jada Pickett Smith and their mission is to reduce the amount of plastic on this planet and to lead with sustainability. If you didn't know, we have a plastic problem here on this earth and I try my best to recycle and to reduce the amount of plastic when I can because I know it's important and I, I try to do my best. <laughs> what I love about Hey Humans is that 99% of their packaging is made from recycled aluminum. The only thing that's made out of plastic, I think, out of the whole entire line, if I'm not mistaken, is their toothpaste cap. So I think that is super innovative. I think more companies and brands should use Hey Humans as an example to show that we don't need to use plastic for every single thing because where is it going to go? You know, I think it's really important to be mindful of that type of stuff. Not only are their products made out of like recycled aluminum, but they're all under $6. They're sold at Target, so everything is super affordable and it's ingredient conscious. So yeah. with that being said, let's get into the body wash. So keep in mind that I had no idea what any of these products smelled like because I didn't go into the store to buy anything. I saw it online and I just ordered everything online without smelling first. Probably wasn't the best thing to do, but don't be like me, okay? <laughs> so the first product that I got is the Rosewater Ginger Body Wash. Typically, I'm not the type of person that gravitates towards florally scents. I think what sold me about the Rosewater Ginger Body Wash is the fact that it said ginger on it and I love ginger so I just thought it was interesting so I wanted to try it and I'm really glad that I did because it smells so nice it smells so nice I love it and rose water ginger is not the only scent they have a whole bunch of unique smelling scents but this is the one that I wanted to try first they have coconut mint they have apple matcha they have banana aloe cedarwood sage like all of these interesting smelling lotions and body washes I was just like this is so cool I want to try all of them <laughs> but this one says it's calming rose water zesty ginger and geranium it lathers up really well it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry or stripped after I rinse it off the only thing you have to be mindful of because they are trying to be conscious and reduce the amount of plastic there's no pump on their packaging so you have to be mindful when you pour it out to your loofah or your rag or whatever you use to wash your body with that you don't like pour out too much but I personally don't mind that I think it's a good sacrifice to make for the environment like I could do without the pump it's not a necessity <laughs> I love the whole messaging about the sustainability and the packaging because obviously that's important but what sold me was the price and that they are ingredient conscious so it has no sulfates no phthalates it's also paraben free vegan and cruelty free so and I also picked up cedarwood sage for my husband because it just sounded like it would be a masculine scent and I was right it is it's very earthy and fresh smelling it says it's invigorating cedarwood calming sage and black pepper yeah I get that hint of pepper like they're their scents are just so different. It's so different. I feel like their scents could be very unisex as well. This is not something that I would pick, um, gravitate towards for myself personally, the Cedarwood Sage Body Wash, because it's very, like I said, this is a very masculine scent. But I also understand that there are some females who like um, more masculine smelling scents, and I know that there are males as well who like sweeter smelling scents. So it's all up to your preference. Just go into Target and smell it yourself, figure out which one you like. My husband likes this one and it does smell really nice and fresh. Now on to their body lotion. So I already gave y'all the disclaimer that I didn't go into the store to smell any of these products. I just saw the name, read like the little description about it, and if I thought I liked it, I ordered it. And if you guys know me, you guys know how much I love lavender. It's one of my favorite scents. So I just automatically assumed that I would like this lavender vanilla scent. And no ma'am. It's very mature. But I thought since it's lavender vanilla, I was just expecting it to be a lot sweeter. 
and it's not. My husband says that I smell like an old lady when I wear it, so now I just keep this on my vanity in the bathroom to use after I wash my hands. I need to use some actually right now because my hands are ashy. It says it's nourishing and moisturizing with shea butter, vitamin E, and essential oils. It's for all skin types and like I said, phthalate and paraben free. I do wish that this body lotion was creamier in consistency. My thinking is that they made it thinner like this so that it would be able to disperse out of the, the can or whatever. But I still wish that it was a little bit on the creamier side. Although it's thinner in consistency, it's still very moisturizing. It makes my hands feel really soft. I feel like I would like this lotion a lot more in the summertime because it absorbs really quickly into the skin. It doesn't make you feel greasy, but it still makes you feel moisturized. So I would repurchase it, just not this lavender vanilla scent particularly. I just wish it was a little bit thicker, just a little bit thicker. It's still a great lotion nonetheless. I have been wanting to switch to a non-toxic deodorant for the longest time and I finally have. This scent is also in lavender vanilla because I thought I would like it. No, I don't like this scent. But scent aside, the deodorant is great. I was expecting, because this is my first natural deodorant that I have used in a long time. You know when they say that when you switch to a non-toxic deodorant that you can expect your body to go through like a detoxing period where it's purging your body of like chemicals and everything that you've been imparting to your underarms from using toxic deodorants. So I was expecting to be musty. I was prepared. I had my wipes if I needed to like freshen up during the day and reapply. But I was in stink and I was so surprised. Like I was exercising, I was running errands, like just doing my regular lifestyle things and you know, and I didn't have to reapply or anything like that so I was super surprised because I know it's really hard to find non-toxic aluminum free deodorants that one aren't irritating to your underarms and that actually work and keep you fresh throughout the day and this did all of that for me so I was super happy with it when you first buy it it's made out of recycled paper which is really cool but um, in order to get the product out you kind of have to push it up like a popsicle but when you first get it, it doesn't, like if you immediately try to push it up, it's not gonna go up. You kinda have to warm it up in your hand. Um, they say to do it for 10 seconds, but I literally had to do it for like maybe two minutes, three minutes to get the product to glide up. After that, it's fine. It's not like you have to do this whole warming it up thing every single time you use it. You just have to do that either when you first get it or when the product is getting low and you wanna push up some more. Other than that, like, I had no issues with it as at all, and that's not really an issue, it's just, that's just the mechanism of the deodorant, but it works really well. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the lavender vanilla scent, unfortunately. I'm still going to use it up, but once this is done, I'm probably, most likely, going to get a new scent, but I'm so happy that I found a non-toxic deodorant that works and keeps me fresh throughout the day. The only thing that I have to get used to, and I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with the deodorant itself, is the feeling of sweat underneath my armpits when I do sweat or whatever and it's because there's no aluminums or antiperspirants clogging my pores preventing my pores from sweating which is a good thing I understand that it's natural it's just something that I have to get used to as long as I don't smell or I'm, I'm not musty that's all I care about I just have to get used to the feeling of sweat underneath my arms and the last product that I have to talk about today is their whitening powerful clean winter mint chill toothpaste um, they have a fluoride free version and they have one with fluoride and I accidentally got the fluoride free because I wasn't reading that was my fault <laughs> but it has cooling peppermint ice wintergreen and chilled menthol and I really like this toothpaste as well my husband likes it so I have no complaints about this toothpaste it makes my mouth feel clean it makes my mouth feel fresh my teeth are clean um, it says that it's whitening, but I've only been using it for like a week or two, so I don't even know if it's <laughs> whitened my teeth yet, but I like it. They have two different flavors. They have, I forgot what it's called. Let me check. They have the Winter Mint Chill, which is the one that I'm using, and then they also have the Queen Mint Rush. I haven't tried that one yet, but this one is pretty good. I like it. Like I said, they have the fluoride-free and 
the one with fluoride. Fluoride is just to strengthen your teeth and protect it from cavities and whatnot, which is probably what I should have got, but I wasn't paying attention. But I do really like how they offer the fluoride free and the fluoride version because I know some people don't like fluoride or want fluoride in their toothpaste. So options, always here for the options. And that is all I have to say about the products. Overall, I think Hey Humans is a really great brand. I love everything that the mission stands for. I think it's super amazing that they're mindful of sustainability and the planet and want to do better by it. And of course, what ultimately drew me to it is the ingredient consciousness because I think it's really important to not only be mindful of what you ingest into your body, but also what you apply and the ingredients that you use. So I love that they are safe and clean. And I just... I can't say anything else about the products. I love them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed yet, subscribe if you enjoy my content. I upload every single week. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.